This is Marshall PC Warbash again. And I was out in the garden. I was out at the Virginia Black Powder match. Shootout yesterday. Came home and had some squash. Some of these I picked before I left. But it's just what the book ordered. Nice young squash. Tender skin. We're going to go ahead and get them blanched up and processed and frozen so we can have some more meals to come. In the canner behind me, I went out and picked some beans that sucked up all this rain. So now I got three pints of string beans in the canner going. I'm going to blanch these up and then see what else I can get into. Yes, this is my Ulu knife. My parents picked it up when they went on their Alaska trip. I love cutting with this. It has a nice rolly blade and a big handle. All I got to roll it and it'll, and it's sharp. Whew. Don't want to cut your fingers with that thing. I'm going to try not to waste nothing. The rabbits like the end cuts, I guess, and maybe some birds too. So they get a treat today. Slice these up with my little Ulu knife. Rock right on through. Try to keep it somewhat uniform because they all go in the water and boil for three minutes. It kind of puts the enzymes or whatever else is in the food in check. All nice and sliced up. Getting ready to go blanching. I get my instructions from the Bar Blue Book. A blanching is used to inactivate the enzymes that's in the food. Alright, and you put it in boiling water, which I have over there, and then you, after you take it out, you put it in rapidly cooling water, which I have prepared right here. I put a strainer here, so when I dump the hot squash in here, it can be cooling and I can pull it out. So I got ice water around here, making everything cool. So when I boil the squash, for three minutes, I'll submerge them in here real quick for the same amount of time as the blanch. So three minutes boiling, three minutes cooling, then I'll put them in a vacuum pack bag. And there's boiling water. And it will boil for three minutes. Take it over to my cooling pan and cool it for three minutes. But sticky. We're gonna do the microwave timer so my other timer has got the string beans on. And then my timer, turn that off. I'm gonna string them up and I pull them out. That. Then we take them over. I'm a little warm with this metal pan. Then we take them over and put them. And here, the same amount of time in this ice water that I uh, made, made up for. <clears throat> Alright, the first batch is done, cooling. So I already prepared my bag, I put a little double lock on the bottom. Now, the easiest thing to do, is fold that rim over so it don't get wet either. See at the top of the bag how I folded it over. Go ahead and pack these up in here. See what you think you're going to eat for a meal. And these are relatively small squash, so we're going to go for a meal and a lot. Now, I don't have no more small bags. My beans are going crazy back here, but they'll be done in a second. I guess I did you do this morning. Right now, there's so much moisture in here. If I try to vacuum pack it, it just suck it all up through here. So, I'm going to fold this over, and I'm going to put it in the freezer for an hour to harden all these little ice crystals up, and then I'll be able to vacuum pack it with no issue at all. The beans just buzzed. All right. <laughs> 